I guess my interest in urban history is tied to my interest in social history and the history of people. And as an environmental historian, I'm interested both in people and in nature. So one thing that stood out to me in the Canadian field is that um, a lot of environmental history literature focuses on wildlife, national parks, provincial parks, big nature the kind of wilderness areas that actually very few people see or visit. And so I, I thought that if I wanted to know how Canadians related to the natural environment over time, I need to look at the places where most humans lived. And most humans in Canada, at least for most of the 20th century, lived in cities. Um, and their relationships with animals and plants and other aspects of the non-human world are actually quite different from the relationships that you might find in rural places or in wilderness environments. So if we take animals as an example, on our coinage we have caribou, we have beaver. In our national consciousness the moose is a national symbol of Canada and yet these are animals that a very small minority of Canadians ever see uh, in real life. In the 19th century and in the 20th centuries Canadians were more likely to see horses, some cows, pigs, dogs, cats, raccoons, rats, seagulls, pigeons. There are these whole other species of animals that Canadians have more ordinary experiences with than the ones that we typically think of as national symbols. And so I wondered if we look at cities, will we see a different kind of relationship that's less symbolic and more practical or more material? And then can we understand how people in Canada relate to nature, both within cities and outside cities, by examining how they relate to nature in their everyday lives? So that was my interest in urban environments.